Hi, so XP Pen has sent me their Artist Pro 16 tablet for review. But first, before anything else, I want to point out that I only agreed to do this video since they were fine with me giving my honest opinion. Now let's get started with the unboxing. I know most of you all are here to see the actual performance of the tablet and the drawing I made, so I'll be fast with this part. It first came in a regular shipping box and the actual box design is cool and a pretty standard box as far as boxes go. Inside is the tablet, pen, adapters, manuals, a drawing glove, a small cloth and the tablet wires. The tablet looks very sleek, I really like the look of it and how thin it is. The buttons and wheel feel nice, though I don't use those myself while working since I'm very attached to my keyboard shortcuts. It's a bit slimmer compared to my Cintiq Pro 16, which has been my main tablet for a while. The only problem I'm seeing right now is that there is nothing on the back for attaching this to a standard mount, so you wouldn't be able to add it to a monitor arm. It doesn't come with a stand either, they sell those separately, which is fine. But unfortunately, I don't have one to fit this tablet right now, so my posture working flat on my table will be quite like a shrimp. The pen comes in a nice and sturdy metallic case, which you can push down to open and then slide out the part holding the pen and the spare nibs. I think this is very nice as it doubles as a possible travel container for your precious pen and also holds the nibs so you won't lose them like I always tend to lose mine. I'm looking forward to testing out this pen's performance as they are specifically hyping up their new pen technology when it comes to this tablet. I won't be able to tell you how it compares to the older pens of the same brand, but I'll test it with the feel of my Wacom Cintiq pen in mind. In terms of the physical aspects, this pen is thinner and quite light. These are the wires, more on that later once I connected them. I usually don't bother with manuals, but for connecting display tablets, this is where I'll make the exception. I'm happy they've included a glove too, so people don't have to buy that separately, since it's pretty essential for using a display tablet. And I suppose it is nice they've included so many different adapters as well to make sure this tablet will work in many different countries. Alright then, it's time to uninstall my old tablet drivers and crawl under my table and get this tablet connected. It was simple enough to connect, one USB and HDMI went into my PC and one USB into the power adapter and into the outlet. Only one wire is connecting to the tablet itself, so you won't have to look at the whole bundle of wires on your desk. I do think the cable could have been a bit longer though, you can't have your PC too far away. Mine is on the floor next to my desk though and it was alright. Then I downloaded the drivers from the XP Pen website, ran the installation, restarted my PC, pressed the power button on the tablet, started up my drawing program and it worked! Right out of the box! Not gonna lie, I was very much expecting some super annoying driver or setup problems that would ruin my day and drain me of my will to draw anything, but I was delightfully surprised nothing like that happened. But as I get started, I noticed that, as with all tablet pens, you have to press down really hard to get to the maximum pressure. So I went to see if there was any way to tweak this. There was a small icon in the system tray to access the tablet settings. And to my relief, they have the pressure curve right there in the pen settings. So I moved the top point more to the left. And now I can draw in comfort without feeling the need to stab a hole through the screen to get a more solid color out of my brushes. So my first impression has been really good so far. I'm writing this voiceover as I'm testing the tablet for the first time right now and I really don't have anything bad to say about it. Even though I cut off the top end of the pressure levels, the pen is still very responsive and does thin lines well too. It won't pick up anything if you just drag the pen across the screen without any pressure, you do have to press a tiny bit, but this is totally fine in my opinion. This pen definitely lives up to my standards and I wouldn't mind doing professional work with this. The gap between the pen and the screen is small, maybe about the same as the Cintiq, I can't really tell a difference there and I wasn't thinking about it until I remembered it's something I should mention. The surface material of the screen is a bit different, but not in any bad way. I got used to it very fast, in a few minutes. Another thing I was impressed by is that the pen was calibrated almost totally fine out of the box, and after I ran the calibration it was even better. 
On my Cintiq, one of my biggest gripes was that no matter how I did the calibration, the only place where the cursor and the pen really lined up was the middle of the screen. And I'd keep misclicking the small icons of the drawing menus that are near the edges. But this doesn't seem to be a problem at all with this XP pen tablet. I haven't misclicked a single thing and the cursor aligns quite well with the pen also at the edges of the screen. Speaking of my gripes with the Cintiq, it just reminded me that this XP pen display tablet is quiet and it is not hot or even warm either. Of course, it is a 1080p screen, so maybe it needs less power to run or something. Please don't quote me, I'm just speculating. Compared to my Cintiq, which has a 4K screen. But the Cintiq fans are literally louder than my desktop PC, and the middle of it gets so warm that my hand is sweating during the summer. So props to XP Pen for making this tablet quiet and cool to the touch. I can't hear a thing from it unless I put my ear within centimeters of the tablet, so it's practically silent. Now it's time to put it to the real test and draw a quick illustration with it. My back won't be too happy hunching over this tablet, but I'll overlook it since that's on me for not buying a stand or realizing to ask for one for this review. After sketching for a bit, I haven't noticed anything off-putting about the tablet, which is to say I could just focus on my drawing, which was great. After about an hour of sketching, the tablet is a tiny bit warm, but nothing noticeable. My hand is still cool and you can only mainly feel it if you try the bottom side of the tablet. I wouldn't have noticed anything if I weren't paying special attention, I think. So then I went ahead and continued making this illustration. I also tweaked the screen's colors through the NVIDIA settings so that the colors were more accurate to my main monitor. After that was done, I had no problem with the screen and I thought that the colors were quite good and vivid. I also managed to prop up the tablet on a book and an upside down mousepad to save my neck from further pain. <laughs> During this drawing, the only slight annoyance was that I was too lazy to calibrate the pen again after changing my viewing angle and I kept sometimes color picking the wrong color, but I do suspect that was just my fault for not calibrating the pen again. Otherwise, I have nothing but praise for this pen, which was comfortable to hold and performed very well thanks to their new pen technology, I'd presume. And you may be watching this video in 2022, but this tablet was released in late 2021, so it is quite new and not to be mixed up with their older 16-inch tablet. Overall, I've had a very positive experience with the XP Pen Pro 16 display tablet and I could heartily recommend it to hobbyists and people wanting to get into digital art and also those aspiring to go professional. The setup was easy, the screen is solid and it just works well. The price is very fair and it doesn't feel like a budget tablet whatsoever. I'd say my Cintiq Pro 16 is only marginally better and only because of the higher resolution, but it has many other problems and costs more than three times the price of this tablet. The only issue for me recommending the XP Pen Pro 16 to professionals is that I have been personally finding the 16 inches size a bit too small in the past year or so, and the 1080p resolution leaves a bit to be desired. But you could totally do professional work on this tablet, and I'd say I definitely could. It's just a matter of personal preference for the size and resolution. I've been enjoying using more of my arm for drawing, instead of always drawing from my wrist, so I feel I need more space to do that. And not to mention the UI of my drawing program feeling a bit cramped. Now if they were to make a 1440p or a 4k tablet like this one, and in a size between 20 and 24 inches, I would be totally down to swap tablets for good. That's how solid I'd say this one is. So I hope this review has been helpful. You can find links to view more of my work in the description below if you're interested, and I suppose there'll be a link or two for the tablet as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you'll have a great day.